Okay guys, on today's episode of Learning, we're gonna show you how to do a zoom effect that looks like this. What's up, YouTube? I'm Bobby. I am Brent. And you're watching... Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> hey Bobby. What's up? How's it going? It's going Fancy good. Fancy seeing you here. What, what kind of effect are we doing today of learning? Oh, are we recording? I didn't know we were doing an episode yeah, the, of learning. The, the client is here. Oh, okay. Hi, client. Yeah, we're, we're, what are we doing today? We're doing an After Effects tutorial. I know yes. that much, but explain it to me. What are we doing? Today we're going to be doing an After Effects tutorial where we start off viewing the entire Earth, and then we will do a very fast zoom in onto a city. Oh, okay. And we'll go kind of like an aerial view. Um, sometimes fancy. you may have seen this in some movies or like some a, videos. It feels like a Marvel movie or something. Kind of like a Marvel movie, yeah. So we're going to show you how to do that effect. Cool. And we're going to uh, spruce it up just a little bit. Uh, there's a lot you can do to it, but uh, let's get right into this. So let's here go. we go. So we've got our After Effects file open here, and I've gone ahead and created a new composition. All I did was right-click, <laughs> new composition. And right now it's just nothing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag on some files that we found on the internet. All we did was go on Google Earth and do some screenshots. So here we've got a screenshot of the Earth from Google Earth. And we've also got a screenshot of the city of Boston, which we live near. Nice. And we're gonna drag that on there. So now we have two screenshots. We've got Earth and Boston. Now let's start by dragging Earth onto our layer here. As of this moment, it is not fully stretched out to the length of the video dimensions. So what we can do is we can select it, grab the side here, and hit our shift key so that it stays proportional. Nice. And we will drag it out and make sure that's the right size there. Cool, that looks good. Now we're going to grab our screenshot of Boston and we're going to put it on the layer above and do the same thing. Okay, so let's shut off our Boston layer by clicking the little eyeball tool here. And now we've just got the picture of the earth. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna take our anchor point in the middle here, and we're going to move that uh, to where Boston is located over Massachusetts. So how we do that is we click our Y key on the keyboard, and that will allow you to move the anchor point. Nice, there you go. Look at so that. we're gonna move it right there, exactly. Right over want. good old Boston, Massachusetts. And we'll click our V tool to bring us back to our selection tool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have our earth layer selected. Click your S for scale. And we're going to start off by just hitting this little uh, stopwatch button right here. And that will create a keyframe. What we're going to want this to do is start to slowly zoom in and then do a very quick zoom into its anchor point. But we also want a nice motion blur. So we're gonna turn on our motion blur. How do you do that, Bobby? The way Explain you do that me. is we're going to click on our little motion blur tab right here. And it has to be on, on that layer. And you have to also make sure that you enable the motion blur up here by clicking that. And if that's blue and that's filled, you are all set to do some motion blur. So we're gonna play the video and see how fast we want this zoom to be. We'll start off just like this and then it will zoom in maybe around 20 frames. And let's just, Grab that scale number and zoom it. It doesn't have to look good. It's going to be pixely. All we need is for it to be a nice oh, wow. whooshy zoom. When you scroll through, you can really see the motion blur, which is really cool. Yeah, and that's kind of what it's going to mainly be, is just a motion blur. But right now, it's too slow, taking too long. We want it to go really quickly. So, so we're going to move our uh, first keyframe over to one second. And our second keyframe is at one second and 20 frames. So let's see if that's a little bit better. So that's a, a faster zoom there. I think that looks a lot better. So now the next step in this process is we're going to do a very similar thing with our Boston image here, but we're kind of going to do the opposite. So we're going to hit our S key on the keyboard, which is going to bring up our scale again. And we're going to go to the second keyframe here on our Earth image and make sure that we set a keyframe for Boston being fully scaled. So now we're gonna go back and do the opposite. We're gonna go to the first keyframe and we're going to shrink Boston here to be as small as possible. I'm gonna actually shrink it to zero. 
So we'll hit zero. Okay. And now the only thing is uh, it's going to be coming from the center of the country. Okay. We want it to come from Massachusetts. All right. So we're going to hit our P key on the keyboard, and that's going to bring up our position for Boston. And we're going to go back to our second keyframe here, this area, and we're going to make sure that we create a keyframe for our position right where we want it to be when it's revealed. Gotcha. Then we're going to go back and we're going to set the position to be right over Massachusetts. We have to make sure the motion blur is enabled for this image as well. And once it is added, it will look a lot more like a nice whoop, zoom here. So as you can see, Brent, there is sort of this awkward in-between stage that we're kind of missing. We've got right. Boston and we've got the Earth, but we might need something in between. Okay. So there's actually a really easy thing we can do to add that. So let me go back to my box here and I will drag this third screenshot in of Massachusetts. And so that's going to be our in-between layer here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna copy the attributes of our Boston image and paste that in the Massachusetts so that it does the same effect. Gotcha. So there's a really easy way we can do that. We can select on our Boston layer down here and hit our U key on the keyboard a few times. It'll bring up both our scale and our position keyframes. So we're gonna select both of those here and we're gonna hit our Control C and then we're gonna go down to our Massachusetts and we're gonna open up our transform effects. We're going to control V and oh, wow. there you go. Only problem is the motion blur is still off. So if we add our motion blur, it's going to fix that problem. Okay. Now all we have to do is take our Boston, we can put it back and we can drag it over a little bit. So it goes Earth, Massachusetts, Boston. So we've got three different layers here of zooming. We have our three different layers, but now the thing we want to do is make sure that our Massachusetts zooms in as much as it possibly can. So we're gonna go to our second keyframes here and we're going to scale it up even more. And we will move the position a little bit more directly over Boston here. And so that's going to make sure that we are really zooming in there. And we're gonna to wanna to put the Massachusetts one over here where Boston keyframe ends so that we get this nice motion of both Earth, Massachusetts, and Boston okay. all together. Cool. Okay, so you may have to do some tweaking to make sure that it looks right, but I think we've got it pretty good right now, Brent. What do you think? Yeah, it's looking pretty good right now. It's looking pretty zoomy from Earth all the way to Boston. Nice. But there's actually a way that we can make sure that they have a little bit more of a, a flow to it. Okay. So we're gonna select all our layers here right. and we're going to pre-compose. Pre-comp it up. And we'll call it zoom. And we're going to add an effect onto this called radial blur. Okay. And we're gonna drag that right onto the video here. So as you can see, it creates this Whoa. Mr. Krabs meme looking <laughs> blur that we don't it's want. It's doing that swirl It's action. doing this really like weird funky swirl here. Mm. And what we want is uh, rather than a spin, we want a zoom blur. Okay. Okay. And there is a center here on the effect, which we can actually move to go right into Boston where we want it to zoom. That way, when you raise the amount, you can see it's really creating a zoom blur in that center direction. Nice. So we're going to start off with an amount of zero. And we're going to hit our U key again so that we can show our effect keyframes here. And we're going to let it zoom all the way till about this point. And then we're going to set the amount at zero again. Okay. So okay. now we've got zero and zero. Now all we need is a radial blur in between to sort of uh, make sure that things flow better together to create sort of a, a bridge between the three images. Okay. So we'll raise the amount here. And now as you can see, there's this really, oh, wow. really beautiful. That really makes all the difference right there. It does. It, it turns it into this more cinematic looking zoom here. So that's really what we want. And I think we'll put that right in the center so we get a nice ease in and ease out. Nice. And there it is. We've got a nice zoom. And we're gonna just spruce it up just a little tiny bit by adding some uh, cloud PNGs. Because th this can really make it look a little bit more um, realistic. It's like you're coming through the atmosphere right at it. Ooh. So we've got two PNGs here we've got off Google Images. And we're gonna drag them right into our project here. Our first one is this nice image here of clouds. And we'll put that 
um, somewhere up top here. And then we've got another one here, which is just a little bit of variation to make it look a little bit uh, different. All the weather fanatics out there are gonna tell us that these two different clouds can't exist at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Actually guys, you got Very a cumulonimbus there. <laughs> that would never be in there in the same place as another type of cloud that I don't know names of anything you else other than cumulonimbus. They might be right, but that's okay. That's totally Comments fine. below, name all the kind of clouds there are. Yes, we wanna hear from you weather experts. So we're gonna want them to uh, fade in right about here when we're almost zoomed in at Earth. And we're going to do that by clicking our T key on the keyboard. And we will hit opacity. And let's drag that over, because right now it's at 100%. And then we'll drag it down to zero here. So it zooms in, the clouds come in, right yeah. about there. Okay, we're going to create a new null object. And we're going to select both of our clouds and we'll parent them to the null object. Okay, so we're going to keep our null object on the clouds and we'll get to that later. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to make the two different clouds seem like they're at different levels, hovering above the landscape. Um, because that really adds a nice depth uh, mm. level to this whole thing. So I like it. we're going to hit our P key and we're going to first be moving our bottom clouds here. So we're going to hit our position here. We're gonna move a couple seconds into the video and let's move the clouds a little bit slightly to the right. So as you can see, the clouds are moving ever so slightly. Whoop. Okay, and let's do the same thing with our one below it. We'll hit the P key and we will click the position and we'll do the same thing, but they will move just a little bit faster. Now, uh, there's one other thing that we can do to really make this uh, come together, make a little more 3D. And that's, uh, we're gonna have a really slow zoom here. We're gonna go to our zoom pre-comp that we made earlier, and we're going to hit our S key, scale, and we're gonna go to our second keyframe here, and we're gonna scale it in a little bit so that it does a nice little whoop, zoom right there, okay? Now, the only thing is we have to make sure the clouds zoom too. And that's where our null object comes in. Let's take our null object here and we'll hit S and we'll move it over a little bit and we'll bring the scale up just a little bit. So now we have this nice 3D looking clouds moving in different positions and it looks pretty good. It's looking really good. And we can also actually use that null to shrink the scale of our clouds so that it looks like the clouds are zooming in with the map. Right about here, we can lower our scale on the null object so that the clouds are actually above the city. And when we zoom in, there you go, you can see the clouds. Nice. So let's check it out and see what it looks like when you play it all together. Oh. All right. I like go. it, I like it. It's looking pretty good. So guys, that's how you do a earth zoom effect on After Effects. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. Me and Brent put out learnings every week. Every Friday, and we do in-depth Monday, test time news Tuesday, and then a bunch of other junk in between. So yeah, it's fun. If you're into any of that stuff, check it out. Check it out. Watch us be goofy. We recorded a few learnings today. Yes. Including one really long one that we didn't actually ever finish. Yeah. And Maybe we never will Maybe we'll use some finish. of that in the blooper reel for this episode since yeah. this one was so straight. We yeah. kept it so tight. Yeah, it was long, but it was cool. it was tight. So. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Bobby. And I'm. And you're watching. Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> da, da, da. Gotta chuck, get chuck, the chuck. screen recording going. Totally. We're gonna turn this into a business, boy. Four of learnings, one day. Oh Jesus Christ! Can we do it? <laughs> can, can we do it? Can it be done? Oh, jeez. I don't know. We I'd... wouldn't have to do a learning for a month after this. My wife. Three, two, two one. Oh. Hey, everybody. And you're watching. <laughs> we have no time to waste today. We're filming so many learnings today. Yes, we're filming. Jeez four. Louise, Papa Cheese. Hey, Bobby. Please love us. We need the we need the affirmation. Let's clip the black. Do, do, do. That's looking not great so far. <laughs> maybe maybe we want to use a different key effect. <laughs> All right, Bobby. So we've clipped out our background here. Or do we want to just find a PNG? We'll just find a PNG. Yeah. Okay. So this learning is totally on the fly here. 
Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of bloops. A lot, a lot of, bloops. of bleeps. A lot of bloops and bleeps at the end, okay. So. That's okay though, we're just having fun today. Dang, this is tougher than I thought it would be. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this is like such a weird learning. We did not prepare for this game. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. And action. <laughs> we'll try overlay. No, 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 these all stink. No. no. Um, hmm. Do we want to make it look like it's in the sky where the blue is? Maybe. And then make it like a crescent shape, like the moon? So I'll scratch that. Like we're just like totally winging this whole yeah. thing. Oh, this is bad. So much cutting to do. <laughs> I would, I would like do a big, here, I'll, I'll show you like okay. so you know what to do. All right, so I would do a It's not exactly where I want it, so let me kind of play around and get a... No. Me. This is going to be the most hard to cut I almost want to like quit this tutorial. I think and we like, just quit it. Yeah, let's... No. I think we're just... <laughs> this tutorial, let's just... Cut. 